Bennett Davison and the Euro Hoop Live podcast. We're interviewing Taylor Statham and his three-on-three experience playing for with the Philippine national team. Taylor, go some, give us a little details about this. This is uh, something new I've heard. I've seen it on TV. It's not the big three. It's an international uh, three-on-three uh, tournament. Go into details. We were just talking about it a few minutes ago. Give, uh, educate the uh, viewers. Definitely. So three-on-three is obviously a growing sport. Um, it's year-round. It's sanctioned by FIBA. And it kind of leads into, um, you know, the World Cup and the Olympics. So if you started the ground, um, you know, I played for the Philippines. I'm part Filipino. Um, so all my points, they go toward the Philippines for this big Olympic dream, right? Okay. That's, that's what we have at the top. Um, some teams like Asian countries, since they are new to it, they may bring in imports, you know, American imports, uh, imports from Europe who've played this game and proved themselves over the years, um, their points go to their country. They don't go to the Philippines, but they help the Philippines, um, you know, win tournaments and get to bigger tournaments. Okay. So we'll start, we'll start at the ground right now. Um, when I was in the Philippines, they had their own conferences. Um, so we would play all the Filipino teams, um, you know, and my team was like the top team because we had a lot of Philams. Most of our guys were like Filipino Americans. Yep. So we would play, we would play. And then what that does is um, that qualifies you for bigger tournaments outside the country. Okay. So then we would go to, you know, we went to Russia. Um, we'd go to China. We'd go to uh, Doha, like all these different places. Um, so you play in these challengers and these challengers are like bigger tournaments. And you really, you either have to pay a lot of money to get in them or you have to be one of the top teams you know, or it's like a trade-off. So like a federation from Slovenia may say to a federation of Spain, like, hey, we're having a big challenger. We'll let you in if you let us in yours okay. type of thing. So who would be the top teams? Who would be probably be the top five team or countries? Uh, mostly European teams, man. They've been dominating this because they were the first ones to get on it like years ago. Um, Serbia has like three teams that are ranked in the top 10 at all times. USA is catching up now. Um, Latvia, yeah, there's just all these different teams, uh, France, you know, even Mongolia, surprisingly, Mongolia was like the strongest Asian country, um, for three on three. I did. So go ahead. No, no, go ahead. I was saying I did an interview for a player that was over in Mongolia and he said he had to walk to and from the gym. It was negative 40 degrees. And he came (laughs) in back to the common area where he had his room and the other teammates had their rooms. And there was a horse leg right on the table in there. He's like, what's that? And he's like, this is going to be your dinner for the next few weeks. <laughs> he's like, no, one ate. he's like, I had to eat it because he got tired of eating so much rice. So these are kind of yeah. funny stories. Any, uh, any good stories over there for traveling with the three on three? Um, nah, man, it was, it was honestly just like really surprising. Um, you know, as an American, I've never been to the middle East. I didn't know what to expect. I was honestly really scared. I didn't know if I should, if I should go. Yeah. We went to Doha uh, for the world tour because we won. So we won the Philippines. Like we won the whole first conference. So we got a bid into the world tour versus the top teams, the top 12 teams in the world. Um, and Doha was just, I mean, it was so beautiful, huge buildings. Uh, people are super nice. Yep. I mean, it was just like top of the line. It was like Beverly Hills of like oh, really? Middle East. You know? Yeah, it was so nice. And then we went in there, um, you know, we're, we're a Filipino team. All these Europeans have dominated this. So we played the number one team from Serbia, Le Mans, um, you know, at nighttime and everybody was there watching. And, you know, there's like a big Filipino following. And we went in there, we beat them, we upset them and like shocked the world. So there you go. You know, that was, and this was what year? When, when did you just do this? Uh, this was last year. So t- 2019, I was I was on the world tour, like, you know, all summer, um, all spring. So you've been you've been in the you just got finished with it before everything got shut down. Yeah, so I, f- I finished around August. Um, I went home and then I actually went into a tournament out here in the U.S. Um, one of my friends like talked me into it. You know, I was tired from playing overseas and, and just coaching, and he was he told me like, "Yo, let's just do this do this tournament. There's a big grand prize, and it happened to be the Red Bull tournament. Um, and USA basketball is like really involved with it, so." We, we went to the semifinals, we got top four. So then we, we made the next day, which was the regionals, like the West region, all the top teams from the West came. Um, and then again, we, we made the top four. So then we actually got a bid for the USA Nationals. And now the USA Nationals, where all the top teams from the USA come 
and they play and the winner of that goes on to the fir- very first three on three Olympics in Tokyo next year. Awesome. Well, J- uh, Taylor, how would people best get in contact with you if they uh, just want to find out more about three on three or just even the, uh, is that South West, Southeast Asia basketball? How would people best get in contact with you? Yeah. So, uh, I mean, anybody can find me on Instagram at the real T stat. Um, you can hit up my business account with my Academy at Statum Academy. You could find me on Facebook. Just look up Taylor Statham. Email me, Taylor Statham at Ymail. You know, any questions? I'm always here to you know help up and coming guys. That's what we're here to we're here to educate Taylor. Thank you for your time. Yeah, no problem. Thank you.